A bit of statistics. I'm not going to bore you with the past too much. I'm going to look towards the future. But a bit of statistics are important all the time. First of all, five mining facilities currently total operational capacity of 160 megawatt. But we are constantly looking to expand. And I know, yes, we've been saying that for quite some time. But I will explain to you why that is in short. 200 megawatts is the potential expansion that we're looking at, and the focus areas are currently South America and Eastern Europe, for your information. We did something to help you, because obviously in COVID times, we are quite restricted in our movement. We cannot go everywhere. Uh, we have to, unfortunately, stick to our uh, local habitats, let's call it like this. But of course, you are curious to see how mining works, how it all evolves, how it all continues. So we've done something, we've created live cams of our facilities 24 seven, you can use the QR code or go on the website. It is very important for you to realize you cannot just take electricity from a power plant and plug it in straight to the containers with the ASIC machines. You need to put in sub steps. You need to put in two steps in between to change the high voltage into low voltage electricity. And MindBest always needs to do that when they start to build up an operation and a mining facility. So we need to invest in substations and we need to invest in transformers to make, to change the high voltage electricity into a low voltage electricity. You start to build up a mining facility. What do you do? Well, first of all, you need to negotiate for land with the government. Secondly, you need to negotiate for electricity with the electricity provider. You need to buy the ASIC machines. You need to import them. You need to deal with tax. You need to deal with customs. You need to deal with legal issues, right? Then, after that, you need to unpack all of the arrived machines. You need to basically plug them in, maintain them, make sure that it's uptime all the time, that they are working properly. This can take even up to two years to finalize and to finally make a mining facility operational. And this is one of the main reasons why we're not constantly updating on new mining facilities, because we are negotiating, and these are sometimes long and difficult negotiations, right? A lot of industries have matured in the past. And what happens at the beginning, you have this typical curve where there is a few early adopters, just a few, it slowly grows, and then suddenly there is this huge influx of new people. It's 50, suddenly half of the world population is into it, right? And that is what is actually happening right now with crypto, as we speak. And I'm not talking about the pump of Bitcoin or the price of Bitcoin. It is more the structural and mental changes that are happening behind the scenes. And it is very important for all of you to realize that being a strategic partner with MindBest, you have been the early adopters as well of this system. You are two years ahead compared to the rest of the world that is just now starting to really discover the potential of crypto. One of the things that we want to do is create our own mining ecosystem. Okay, so the first step towards that is the ASIC machine. We're currently producing our own ASIC machine. We're not building it yet, but we're prototyping it. We're discussing chip production. We're doing container design, we're doing mining facility design, and we're doing mining pool management software. And this will enable us to keep ev everything within one ecosystem, being less dependent from the manufacturers, from software providers, and so forth. Being able to expand fast, being able to expand more dynamically as the situation or the market requires, okay? That we have an engineer and a serial inventor as our CEO, Al, who comes up with these visionary ideas that are generally addressing certain problems in society, certain niche areas. This stunning thing, this stunning luxury urban vehicle is currently being prepared. This beauty could be driving across your streets by the end of 2022, if everything goes well, of course, and we'll keep you updated. Space mining is, is a, of course, an extremely complex operation, and we will not be updating you on a monthly basis on this because it will take some time to do this. It's a very costly, very difficult operation to, to, uh, to um, succeed, but we are planning to do it. We're planning to launch a satellite uh, with an ASIC machine into space. It will be powered by free solar energy 
and it will have also two satellites that will give us a beautiful view of the satellite and Earth, of course. And it, it will mine cryptocurrencies from space. Bitcoin world looks pretty similar to many other coins in the beginning. But I believe if we will continue to develop the ecosystem together, Bitcoin world will have a bright future. 80% of the transactions of consumers are below $25 payments. You cannot actually buy coffee with Bitcoin without paying at least $14. With Electric Cash, we aim to solve problems related to the speed of transaction, to send payment in a matter of seconds. We aim to solve problems related to transaction fees. We aim to make it the cheapest fees in the market, even free. We are working on software that will make it the most user-friendly cryptocurrency to send between people, like sending in a messenger a text. We started uh, more than a year ago to develop a free key security solution, free keys, uh, which is a tool to allow reversible transactions on the blockchain. Uh, this also, the solution itself attracted almost 140,000 users on the exchanges. They hold BTCV, they trade it, they do uh, around 150 million US dollars of trades monthly. What you can see behind me is the, um, the wallets. We are at the final stage of testing applications provided by, by those companies at the bottom, Mycelium, Free Wallet, and Lumi. Those provide not only option to store your BTCV, but also other crypto assets, and some of them have also integrated exchanges with it. So you can, you know, opening one application allows you to just exchange BTCV to other crypto assets or, or buy BTCV. First of all, you can now purchase BTCV with the use of card through our partner indacoin.com. You can check it for yourself. And the second uh, news is that uh, in really short time, you will be able to purchase electronics and other goods uh, using your BTCV. And this uh, will be available at the Exino platform. This is an online e-commerce shop where you can purchase uh, goods using uh, BTCV and other crypto assets. So, our solution works. It works when, for example, your keys are compromised or you get hacked, which, let's say it out loud, it doesn't happen that often. But if you're sending a wrong amount or uh, you put some kind of different address into, into the wallet or you just simply change your mind that you don't want to pay, it actually happens to me a lot, a lot every day. So then you can use cancel key. You can reverse this transaction. There's a lot of people who don't know about Bitcoin Vault, who don't know about these features we have. So this is our main goal in terms of communications. So focusing on building partnerships on the market. One of those could be, uh, as an example, I will use uh, our plans to deliver partnership in terms of security. We can say we're secure. We have internal security team, security team that they are um, analyzing the blockchain, fixing bugs, but if we invite someone from the outside, we are even more credible. I admire our free keys and whatever is behind. I, I acknowledge that you can reverse the transaction. However, you have to be notified that something is going on in your wallet. It means, that, and not everyone is checking his wallet on day-to-day -day basis. So whatever, what we are implementing is that with each transaction being done on your wallet, you get notified about that. This will happen in the quarter one. First, we will introduce this in the gold wallet, and after we finish in quarter two, we will introduce this in Electron Vault, our desktop application. So we are introducing simple and expert mode in our software. It will help you to guide, it will guide you through the process, through the several processes 
of, of our software from the onboarding, from setting up the wallet, from resetting your password or canceling the transaction. And actually you have a choice to use the simple mode, which is enough for most of the users, but you also have an expert mode where you can use all the benefits of our coin and our technology. So those are the two things that are coming in quarter one and quarter two this year. When, before we introduce something on our mainnet and it's connected with, from the gold wallet, mainnet, testnet, electron vault or any other feature that we are building it, we have to te test it carefully. We cannot allow any single mistake to happen in, on our software because in, usually in the blockchain there is no going back. It happened, it's there. This fe feature of Bitcoin Vault, we call it wrapped Bitcoin Vault. It is already on our roadmap. We received a lot of questions about that, what it exactly means. In simple words, it means that Bitcoin Vault will be able to interact with the smart contracts. And smart contracts are basically, in my opinion, algorithms. And from here, we touch a little bit the DeFi. DeFi has been one of the biggest gainers of 2020 and 2021. DeFi means decentralized finance. And basically what it is, this is execution and interaction of smart contracts between different entities. So we are adding this feature by the end of this year to the Bitcoin vault. Quantum computing is something that we have on our roadmap. It's in the quarter four, uh, 2021, the current year. Uh, and you might ask why it's on the Bitcoin vault roadmap. And in order to do that, we plan to establish a cooperation with uh, entity that could help us to work in this field. Because this field is very technical, it's very complicated. Right now there are just two companies in the world that are working, that they, they say they, 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 ha they have some pro working prototype. So everything is ahead and it's, it will be good to join like this field of technology as well. So our concept is uh, to make electric cash global and our advantage is very little or no um, transaction fees. We are also community oriented. What is it all about? When you take our coin, you get governance power, which means that we all decide about the future of the coin. When I say we, I'm not thinking about my company, but I'm thinking about here, all of us. Because all of you got a vote, and you can make a decision which direction we will go. We should implement three foundations, three biggest pillars. That's staking, governance, and the second layer. Staking means for us. So we are locking our cryptocurrency, and we are receiving Governor's power, first. We are receiving free transaction, second. And we are receiving additional rewards, as the third. Thanks to it, you will be able to use electric cash like a normal fiat, let's say. Governance, the second, I think it's also most interesting pillar that showing us that you are sending this uh, idea to us we are creating the world. And if you will have a quorum, idea will be implemented by development team, of course, if it's real. By, so you're receiving idea, you're getting your idea, and you're receiving additional like a reward, additional G power. So that's quite interesting, at least from my point of view. The second layer, exactly that's why we will have a possibility to provide fast and free transaction. Because by our second layer and additional master nodes installed on the network, we, we will be able to check if you are not doubling the transaction and to provide it in immediate way. So that's why we are reducing time. You will receive a new brilliant announcement. So if right now on CoinGecko we are working with a high level trust which has coin banner, soon you will receive even highest.
So it will be eight and nine. So please expect and follow us. Ooh! So we already deployed Windows and uh, Linux desktop wallet. Currently, our developers is working on WebOS builds, and it will be available very soon. In parallel, we are working on the mobile application, and thanks to it, it will be a real good workable application for all of users. We are starting the concept for creating an application which will allow to work with the retailers. And here, it will be a big step 